guys and you guys know I was gonna come out with the video today today is day one of Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secrets semi-annual sale so we are going to do a walkthrough we are going to do a review a haul all of that we are going to talk about this so hopefully you guys seen from my short that Victoria's Secret does have their annual sale going on today but we're gonna focus on Bath and Body Works in this video I'll do Victoria's Secrets tomorrow <laughs> but if you are new to the channel this is where we discuss shopping fragrance and do reviews so yeah we're pretty much redoing all of that today <laughs> and if you hear a baby in the background I have some kids so <laughs> You might hear baby as usual in the background, but if you haven't already, make sure you hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe, and let's get started. So as I've said, it is day one, officially day one of Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. Now I have made uh, summer annual sale videos before that was my first time ever really shopping Bath and Body Works and I was highly highly impressed so this is my first time for winter and I gotta say it is pretty different but I have my notes here um, I have my bags where I did my little haul so we are going to get started with that so the first thing that I noticed is that the 75% off table is in the front now they did the same thing for the summer sale but I don't know, I still feel the same that they should move that towards the middle because it just gets so congested when you walk in the store. Like people do not want to move and they are just there. So my plan was to wake up, you know, early, make the kids breakfast, you know, and then head off to the sale. So I'm there a little bit early right when it opens, but I was sitting there cooking and frying and doing all that stuff and it just didn't work that way so I literally got there maybe five or seven minutes you know after it first opened and it was a good amount of people there <laughs> so yeah it was pretty congested in the front but the first new thing that I noticed was the winter cherry blossom this has notes of frosted cherry blossom ruby berries and silky amber it wasn't a bad scent I feel like it was okay now in my store, I only had the body lotions there in the bins. No body mess, no nothing for that collection. So I didn't really feel the need to get it. It's not a bad scent, it's just something that I passed on pretty much. Next up, we have Snowflake and Cashmere. So if you have watched my previous videos, that's something that I've been debating on over and over if I should get that. So for that whole collection, fairy tale, Strawberry, uh, snowflakes and that whole collection that came out during the fall that is currently on sale right now so if you didn't get it now is your chance to get it or if you did now's your chance to stock up on that because it's pretty much included in the semi-annual sale now for the next new items that I seen was sapphire moon so I've heard that this isn't like a new new collection that they're just bringing it back for the sale I don't remember ever seeing this again uh, during the summer was my first time shopping Bath & Body Works so we're gonna go over this for us newbies the notes for this is sparkling pear sheer freesia and moonlit musk again that is sapphire moon and to me whenever I see like collections that are aimed at like stones and crystals and all that stuff I just for some reason it just never impresses me I don't know why I feel like they're really light scented and so for this specific collection I just feel like musk was the theme and so even though overall my thoughts on these collections they weren't bad it's just not something that I would ever personally pick up and like I said they were all on the musky side so that was sapphire moon Next up was Golden Eclipse. Now, out of the collection, I feel like I liked this one the most. This had notes of glowing berries, shimmering blossoms, and some warmed woods. I feel like this was the brightest out of the collection. You do get that berry note in there, so it was like floral, berry, bright, and then the other ones were really musky, um, especially for this one. So, Prismatic Stars. For this one... 
I feel like this one was the muskiness and it might be because of a specific note. So let's get into that. So this is Raspberry Stardust, Mystic Plum, and Cosmic Cashmere. Whenever I notice that plum is in like fragrances, it is a deep musky scent. Like that plum isn't just like your typical berry or like your typical fruity notes that you get. It is not on the bright side at all. It is polar opposite. So it's like a deep musky fruity scent and so that's what this one smells like i would feel like out of all of them maybe this one was the strongest i want to say but again it's not my preference so if you are into that type of thing that is included in the semi-annual sale so currently for that collection they are going for 825 you guys know how semi-annual sale works and if you don't it is this price for now but later on it's going to continue to drop okay Next up, we have Denim and Daisies. Now, this is a return, but with new packaging. Again, this is going for $8.25 for this one. So this has notes of sweet daisies, sun-soaked denim, and summer citrus. I'm going to pause right quick. Not that this is bad or anything, but I'm just going to pause. So I feel like this one is polar opposite for me. As far as the summer semi-annual sale is because those were like tropical scents. You had gourmands, you had florals. This winter semi-annual sale is more leaning towards getting rid of the Christmas stuff and spring. And when you think about spring scents, there is a lot of white musk musky stuff and florals specifically white florals and that is what I kept running into during this sale is like the white florals now everybody has their preference but to me I'm just saying mine white florals tends to lean more on the mature side some people just flat out say no those are grandma scents those are granny scents sometimes it could be done right and it's just like a grown woman mature scent and then sometimes, unfortunately, it does, like, remind you of, like, <laughs> an old, old one. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> but like I said, everybody has their preferences, so I want to show you guys everything. But that's why this sale didn't excite me as much as summer. Okay, let's get into it. For Denim and Daisies, I've smelled, like, the older packaging before. So, again, this one isn't bad. It's just not a favorite of mine I feel like it has those like it's the daisies I guess which I'm really not that fond of um again I feel like it wasn't that bad it's just okay all right so next up we have white jasmine now I actually was like oh my gosh at this point when I seen this one I was just like this is not gonna be good for me <laughs> because again with the white florals but this is really not that bad. So the notes for this is creamy white jasmine, apple blossom, and white cedarwood. Now I would say as far as the florals, this one probably, I think it was probably my favorite. When it says creamy white jasmine, uh, that's not like your typical white floral scent. It almost feels like it's like, sweet almost I don't want to say like a whipped cream or anything but it's a really sweet scent in there that it doesn't have that like off-putting white floral scent in there even though if you like are a person that does not like white florals I would say still try this one out it might catch you off guard because it definitely caught me off guard okay so um looking around the bins I did spot fresh vanilla blossom. Now I got told you guys before that that's really not a favorite of mine. I actually really don't like that one. It reminds me of the smell of like a Barbie head. <laughs> but um they do have that out on sale. I knew this one was going to go on sale and I get I'll get into that a little bit later as well as cozy vanilla bourbon. I'll get into that story in a little bit. All right, let's move on. So on the 50% off table, so you guys know the collection that just came out not long ago. So Satin Slipper, like the Ballerina ones, I think it's Ballerina Nights. Those are all on sale for 50% off, as well as Dream Bright. I'm seeing a lot of those, so we may see a new packaging because they had a lot, a lot of Dream Bright on that table. Now moving along to the 90s, 
throwback collection that they have. I went over two of these in a previous video. So Endless Weekend, I think it's Forever Sunshine, Cucumber Melon, those, those are currently on sale. Now I will say that overall, some of those need to stay in the 90. <laughs> I re-smelled Forever Sunshine and I just could not get into it. Now, I did a review on, is it Carried Away, Lovely Dream? I do like those in Miami Beach. I, I did like the full body care of Miami Beach um, one night and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells good. And my husband was like, I really do like that one. So yeah, those are probably the only one out of like those throwback collections that I really like I will say guys lovely dreamer I'm going to when I do my haul I'm going to go over that one again because that one changes and I want to discuss that but anyways overall that 90s throwback was pretty much a nope for me but I do want to show you guys what they have okay moving along to a different section the candles are on sale Th that is going for $10.95 so that is for three wicks and then $5.95 for the single wicks so again this is not like really like candle day prices but it's a dollar difference and I feel like that's pretty good in my opinion so the same candles that you've seen on candle day like candy emporium all of those whatever they had left over is now on sale for $10.95 so if you want to stock up, maybe if you're just like, man, I really like this candle and I didn't get enough, now is the time to do that during semi-annual sale. Okay, so they also did have a new candle holders out. That is currently included in the semi-annual sale. Now I'm going to go over some new spring candles that they have, but mostly you're going to see like the winter candle holders that are on sale. Okay, next table we have 50% off aromatherapy. Now, I'm not really into the aromatherapy, but a lot of people are, so I know I kept seeing vetiver and vanilla a lot, but they do have the Northern Lights, I think that's what it's called, they have that collection out as well as some other ones, and even some of like the Moxie brand. All the Christmas gift sets that they had, those are now 50% off, so I mean some people get them for a late I guess holiday gift some people stock that up for next year so you can now get those the Christmas items the candle holders even like the pocket bag holders that are Christmas related they are now on sale currently today for 50% off so again if you just are thinking about holding off on it the prices will continue to drop all right, next up, I've spotted two new pocket bag holders. So this is a beautiful pink butterfly with a golden accent. And then they have this gray rainbow one, and it includes like a chain on it, a whistle, and the pocket bag holder attached. Okay, I keep saying 50%, 50%, 50%. <laughs> okay, so um, another 50% off table was the men collection guys i know like a lot of women just storm bath and body works during this sale but guys do not miss out because they have 50 percent off the men collection and that is including colognes leather and brandy coffee and whiskey woodlands that just came out this holiday classic flannel all of them 50 percent off currently and i did see some men shopping with baskets full so I did spot some spring candle holders. Now, they have this one. It was very eye-catching. It is a honeycomb, like a really nice, like, glass honeycomb. And with a B on top, that was for $24.95. I don't think that this is included in the sale. So I'm just telling you the sticker price that's on there. And then they also had a golden B candle holder for $14.95. This was, like, on the top shelf. I also spotted a swan one. Now, I did show you guys in a previous video that they have the soap holder that matches this, but this is a big swan candle holder. That is the most expensive one that I've seen for $34.95. It is quite on the large side, but it is beautiful to look at. And I do want to mention that they have the travel size, you know, the mini body mist on sale going for $3 for seven dollars if I'm not mistaken. I did go to three stores during this first day of semi-annual sale so this video is a mixture of three stores. Okay 
for the last item at the first store, I did spot some new packaging for the Strawberry Pound Cake collection. So I'm pretty sure you are going to see the older packaging for Strawberry Pound Cake in the semi-annual sale, which I'm pretty sure I did see in one of the stores, like a big old bin full. So just to let you know that that is being repackaged. So I spotted this. I think it was like body lotion. Next store. So the store wasn't even open yet. I... I kind of planned out today so I went to the first store that opened and then I headed to one of the malls now I had about 10 to 15 people waiting outside they opened the gates and guys I've seen sun washed citrus now they did actually have this in the first store but they only have the body lotion this one had the whole collection so let's get into that that has notes of sugared lemons, mandarin agave, and nectar. If you like citrus scents, definitely do not pass that one up. And I did notice that this store had like way more product. If it had denim and daisies, it had like a couple in that area. This one had like bins of denim and daisies. So I really did like this, you know, store because they had a pretty good amount of product. So they had a bunch of Love Always Wins. Next to that, they had the Aromatherapies. And they had Mindful Paws, which is that vetiver and vanilla one I was telling you about. Again, I'm not really into that, but they do have Aromatherapies on sale. So they had a bunch of the 90 collections here. And guys, I know I keep passing over it, but they do have that whole traditional holiday collection and the other holiday collection that came out which is frosted coconut snowball merry bright christmas all of that they have that on the 75 percent off table also in the bins i spotted endless sea wild sand into the stars they had all of those and they had a lot of those so i wonder if in we do know that into the stars got new packaging for sure but I wonder if what's going on with like Endless Sea and Wild Sands. I feel like that one didn't do as good as other releases. Um, I will say that I personally have travel sizes of them both. And they do smell better when you mix them together for some reason. But that's just my opinion. Okay, in that same bin, they did have some Hero from, um, from the Men Collection. I spotted some body lotion and some deodorant. As well as Teakwood and graphite literally i've seen one and mind you like i said i was there when the store first opened they literally had one body wash of teakwood and one body cream of graphite okay so i keep like when i was looking through the vents i kept seeing like one of something so you remember that 70s looking collection that came out which had the watermelon um i think it was like the disco looking stuff I spotted one groovy watermelon in there, and then when I was moving along looking, you remember when they brought out for Summer Sass, they had Juniper Breeze? Mm -mm. <laughs> that was in there. They are trying to get rid of that, and I'm confused. I'm confused who asked for that back, but yeah. They had Juniper Breeze in there. They had a bunch of gingham. Now, they have a rose in there, and we're going to talk about that packaging in a little bit, but if you like a rose from Bath & Body Works, now is the time to stock up on that because they have it in there for a reason. Okay, um, I did spot one Disco Daydream in there, which is from that 70s collection, literally just one, and one pink pineapple sunrise. Um, I got that during SAS, so I passed on that, but like I said, literally they just had one. Hopefully that's something that they'll restock the bins with during the sale. Um, I'm just confused why I only seen the one in there. Okay, some other things that I spotted was Gingham Fresh. Now, I did spot like the original Gingham one that I just mentioned, but as far as the other ones, I've just seen Gingham Fresh. I think the purple one is going to be part of the semi-annual sale too. But this is another collection that I spotted in there, in like the bins, which was the one that came out, I want to say, at the beginning of fall. So it was Cactus Blossom, Midnight Citrus, Sensual Amber. Do you guys remember that? I wasn't too like, oh my gosh, about that. But this is included in that sale. So if you are fond of those fragrances, now is the time to get that. 
Okay, so I did spot some Halloween scents in there. I was hoping that they would bring back some of the old ones. I hear a lot of people talk about like the Wicked Vanilla one. I think it's Wicked Vanilla Woods. And just some other ones. Enchanted Candy Potion. Oh my gosh. I've heard so many people talk about that and I want to try it. But unfortunately, they just have the Halloween ones that they came out with this Halloween. If you did not get a chance to get that again, now is the time. As I was looking at those and I was just like, I don't see anything much. They did have like some of the pocket back holders and, and like the wallflowers. Well, not the wallflowers, the wallflowers and the wallflower holders of the Halloween collection. I looked up and I was like, <gasps> and I spotted one of the coconut milkshake ones. So that is something that's supposed to be in the semi-annual sale. I do see it online. And I regret all the times I passed by that during this uh, summer semi-annual sale, but I spotted one body cream of that. So... <sighs> Okay, anyways, back to the fall collection. Pretty much everything that came out this fall. So that is together weather, sweater weather, all of that stuff. The whole collection is on sale currently right now. That is the mist, the body butter, the body creams, lotions, shower gels, all of that, guys. If you really like something during that fall collection, and I mean like the pumpkin pecan waffles, the marshmallow, pumpkin latte, all of that, that is currently now on sale. So I spotted some more of the rose. And then in this store, they have the single wicks like in this pyramid looking shape. And I was just like, I am not going to tackle that. But I kind of went along, you know, along the side so you guys can see what kind of single wicks are on sale. Again, that is for $5.95. Oh, so this store actually had the cozy vanilla bourbon shower gels as well as that fresh vanilla blossom one. So story time. So I I feel like I didn't appreciate cozy vanilla bourbon when I first seen it in stores. I was just like, eh, it's okay. But then after a while, like keep when I'm going in the store, sometime, sometimes I will go and re-smell something just to be like, ah, oh, let me see if, you know my sense of smell kind of changed. Let me see if this grew on me. And that one really did grow on me. So when I realized it did, I wasn't really seeing that in stores, which is a red flag. I was seeing a lot of the fresh vanilla blossom, whatever that one is called. The one that I don't like. <laughs> okay, so I was seeing a lot of that one, but not the cozy vanilla bourbon. And then I was looking online and it was spotty. It was saying it was in stores. And then it wasn't in stores and like they were like oh we got it but then it would sell out it was really really weird so one time i went to the mall which is the last store i'm gonna show you in this one and i seen a guy and like it looked like he was like taking inventory or scanning or something and i seen he had the body cream in his hand and i was like oh i want to get some more of that but i'm not the type of person to be like excuse me and you know reach in front of an employee like that so I kind of stayed back and I was like turned around and I was looking at some candles and he had the drawer open and I seen about two or three of the body mist in like the storage cabinets that they have underneath but I was patient I waited and he closed the door and then he was going to another one and I was like oh excuse me sir I was trying to see if you had some of the cozy vanilla bourbon and I kind of pointed like that to let him know I seen it this dude looked me dead in the eye and he was like no, we don't have any. And I was like, okay. Because clearly, clearly I seen it. But I was just like, I'm not about to get into some huge issue or whatever over some fragrance. So I kept looking around in the store and I kept thinking like, why did that guy lie to me? I was like, maybe this is going to be like something that they're going to get rid of that that pretty much is going to go discontinued or something. So eventually when I was looking around, I asked another associate and she was like, no, we don't have any. And in my mind, I'm like, lying, lying, lying. <laughs> but she was like, no, we don't have any. And she was like, I don't think that one is going to return. And I was like, yikes. <laughs> so I figured that the ones that I seen with my own eyes in that drawer was going to be part of the sale. So if you really, really like Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, or the fresh 
Vanilla Blossom. Excuse me if I'm, you know, butchering that one, but I don't remember the name because I don't like it. But if you really like those, I just highly suggest that you get those during the sale because, I don't know, I just don't think that's a good sign. That's a sign that it's going to get discontinued. Or maybe repackaged. I don't know. Okay, so let's get into a new candle that I spotted. That is Backyard Honeysuckle. So this has notes of Sweet Honeysuckle, Orange Flower Blossom, and Neroli Nectar. I hated this one. <laughs> Again, um, we're we were talking about white florals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that one is a super powered white floral. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and me and my daughter was like... <laughs> so if you do like white florals, I'm just letting you know this candle is strong. You will love this candle. Again, that is a Backyard Honeysuckle. Now they do have a tea cake one that has the same type of packaging as this one. And that is what I'm looking for. That one and the almond croissant one. I am really, really looking for that one. Okay. Anyways, guys, I did spot some more Love Always Wins. Now, this time I spotted the fragrance mist and the perfume. Now, the perfume on this sale display is currently going for $29.75 after you do like the discount. And I just want to say if you are really, really wanting to purchase a perfume, I would kind of wait because they are going to go down in price for sure. I remember during Summer Sass, I was getting perfumes for... 12 bucks I want to say and that was like the gingham I want to say love the red packaging and I, I mean the the packaging was beautiful if you guys remember my videos it was like that heart shaped one so I wouldn't jump too quick to buy the colognes and the perfumes because it will go down okay what else do we have oh I did spot beautiful day now this is one that I've only ever seen during the summer sass and online. I do not ever see this one in stores. So this one, if you like clean fragrances, this one smells very clean. It's slightly fruity and it's airy. I think that it is beautiful. <laughs> I just personally passed on it because I feel like I didn't really need it. Okay, so I do want to mention that all of these stores did have soaps that were on sale. That is the hand soaps and the foam wash. And it was the new collection, like the collection that I just went over that came out for spring. That is currently 50% off right now. I did spot some hand sanitizers. And I in these three, it was like Ice Lemon Pound Cake in there. And I'm guessing that maybe Ice Lemon Pound Cake is going to return because that looks like it's new packaging. So... I personally don't need it because I stocked up on the Ice Lemon Pound Cake during the summer annual sale, but I think that one is definitely going to return because I do not remember that packaging at all. Okay, they also have the gift bags that are on sale, so I mean, I think that's great. It's 50% off, so if you are into gift giving, um, it, it's not just holiday themed. They have like the different colors and the glittery ones and all of that. As well as the bath fizzies. I know for sure I've seen Twisted Peppermint in there. And then pretty much the gift sets, they are 50% off. If you really like the holiday traditional scents that came out, which was Vanilla Bean Noel, Golden Mistletoe, and Twisted Peppermint, they have that holiday set in there. I keep forgetting Winter Candy Apple. So Twisted Peppermint, unfortunately, isn't in that set. It's actually Winter Candy Apple. So, if you are into those, that is currently 50% off. Those are the travel sizes, just so you know. And for the last store um, that I went to, which was unfortunately the mall, that was the one that was, well, the second mall that I went to. That one actually was a big old huge long line out the door, and they were like letting only a certain amount of people in, and... You know, when people come out, it pretty much was like looking almost like candle day. <laughs> and so I didn't really see much in the store. Like I said, they had the typical, you know, Christmas scents that did come out on the 75% off rack. I did spot a new candle in there. It is called Calypso Clementine. So this has notes of Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. I wasn't really a... 
babies answering for me. I wasn't really a fan of that one, to be honest. I thought I would like it because I do like certain citrus scents. But that one, nah. <laughs> I don't know what was in there. Maybe it was the mixture of like the clementine and the wood, but I just wasn't a fan of it. Okay. One thing that I did spot in there was Pretty as a Peach, which I usually see that online only. So it makes me think for that beautiful day and the this peach one, I wonder if they were possibly returns. I don't know, but this was the only single one that I found. And then Rose. So that's going to be the final thing that I talk about as far as the walkthrough for the store. The reason why I said if you really like the rose, get it now is because they're pretty much trying to get rid of that old packaging because I spotted new packaging for rose. So I really like this new packaging. I mean, the old packaging was pretty as well. This one has more green on the packaging with the gold letters. So yeah, I only spotted the new packaging for rose in the travel mist that they have. So yeah, this store actually had more of the original rows in like the bins, like a lot of them. So if you do like that, definitely get it now. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my walkthrough for Bath & Body Works day one of semi-annual sale. Let's get into what I actually got as far as my hauls. So I have like three bags worth. And so let's get into that. Let's start with the big bag first. So this one is the one that I got from the second store. Now I did get that sun washed and citrus one. I do like citrus scents. I feel like, you know, living in the South. I did a whole hygiene video, guys, where it sometimes it just smells, it helps you smell like clean, you know, and nice during the heat. And I feel like citrus tends to pop, you know. It pops in the heat. So uh, this one I definitely will be wearing for this summer. I'm going to spray this on this wrist. And then I'll hold this again for you guys to see the notes, even though I did read it earlier. Oops, let me move my thumb out the way. Okay, so this has notes of sugared lemons, mandarin, and agave nectar. So some people, when they smell citrus, they automatically think of Pledge, but I feel like this one is a little bit different. Let me spray some more. Because I feel like it's not only lemon, like you do smell that sugary, <laughs> you do smell that sugariness in there. I really like this one. It smells lemony it smells sweet it smells sugary baby in there it's going off guys so pretty much i got like the full collection of it so again the body cream i got the shower gel to be honest i probably should get more of the body cream and shower gel now that i'm thinking about it because i feel like me personally i'm gonna fly through that another thing that i got from that second store that i went to is the cozy vanilla bourbon body wash i cannot pass this up because again i feel like i feel like this is going away i really really do just from that encounter that I had, oh my gosh. But I really do love Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. This is a great vanilla scent. So unfortunately, like I said, they only have the body wash, so this is what I got. I also decided to get a body butter of Together Weather because I really do like that scent. I honestly prefer this over Sweater Weather, even though both of them are pretty good. It's just, this one is like the more feminine version of it. So I had to get the body butter for that. And then I had to pick up that whipped coconut milkshake one. Oh my gosh. I'm going to just regret not getting that during the semi-annual sale. Do you know how many times I passed by that? You guys do know because I showed you in the video. So this has notes of vanilla ice, I'm sorry, vanilla ice cream. Toasted Coconut and Sensual Amber. I'm sorry, Sugared Amber. So, hopefully later on I find the fragrance and body wash and stuff to that. I'm kicking myself. Okay, 
let's see what else I got during the haul. Okay, I actually got this one from the first store. So I finally folded and I got the snowflake and cashmere one. I debated so many times because what was the big debate for me was that I had the ivory cashmere from the fall collection and I feel like they smell really similar. But to be honest, I think I like this one more. So the notes for this is vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. Hopefully you guys can see this because, okay, there it goes. This packaging is so clear. I finally folded and got it. It just smells really nice. You definitely get that sweet vanilla creamy note in this. And as far as the clementine scent, I don't know about that, but this just smells like it's soft, it's inoffensive, and I feel like I really, really like it again. The whole debate was over the ivory cashmere and this one, so I don't know. I got it. <laughs> okay. And for the final one, now this one was actually more for my daughter. She wanted to get the frosted coconut snowball. I did a whole review on this one before. I'm not crazy about it. It's okay. To me, there's something in there that again like i said in the previous review that kind of smells like plastic a little bit but she wanted to get it so i got it for her again that is frosted coconut snowball and then for the last item i was gonna pass on it but she actually really wanted it was that pretty as a peach now i've heard that bath and body works actually has a peach tea one which i seen on amazon which I seen it's overpriced and I kind of really want to smell that one but I'm not paying that price for it so again this is something that I've only ever seen online as far as the peach one but I feel like it's not bad it's a nice fruity peach spring scent but I feel like before when I smelled Bath and Body Works peach fragrances or candles it's like a a smell behind the peach that I'm just like what is that I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about but it's like a really in your face type of scent this one I would say actually does not have it so the notes for this is blushing peach jasmine petals white nectarine apple blossom and freesia if you guys can see it sheer freesia and that's what I feel like I feel like this one is a lot more sheer compared to other peaches that I've smelled even like within Bath and Body Works let me try this on my skin yeah this one definitely doesn't have that I mean it almost smells like it's a little bit offensive I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about but I've said it in the previous videos before I'm like they need to work on their peach scents but this one honestly isn't that bad. So a light peach sheer scent. So my daughter wanted this again, so I got it for her. So I have body mist on my nose. Okay, so guys, that is pretty much it for my Bath and Body Works haul. Now, tomorrow I will go over what I got from Victoria's Secret. So stay tuned for that, because like I said, there sale is going on today now someone in the comment section did mention below and i think that is something good to mention where the website officially says that the in-store sale is supposed to start on the 28th which is true but as i've always told you guys check 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 your stores because um i wasn't gonna go in there i was just done with bath and body works but I always have that in the back of my mind. Let me just see what they have. And sure enough, the, the sale is going on. And the first Victoria's Secret store that I went to wasn't that packed. It pretty much was just probably me and like two other people in the store. But the second Victoria's Secret, people were buying out that stuff. So if you are really wanting actual Victoria's Secret scents, those are like $6, so if you really, really wanted a scent that just came out, whether it's part of the candy line, the splash line, I showed you guys in the short the new collection that just came out, 
all those new ones that came out guys they are on sale for six dollars today just so you know anyways guys that is pretty much it thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comment section what you got from the semi annual sale and as always have fun stay blessed and happy shopping bye